Dawn Smith against Zapita March 23rd. It's just such a wonderful fight. Another big fight night here in Sheffield. It's a very dangerous fight for both guys, very dangerous. Look where you are now, son. Yeah. It's all worth it. And it's all down to what he's put in as a child. Boxing's what I've done from a young age, it's all I know. I've always rise to the occasion. Dalton Smith talking about moving on to bigger prizes. Has to take the gamble. Timing is crucial, everything comes together as it's meant to be. I have to win this fight. Three-time world title challenger. I know what it takes. Oh, save. Save. I'm ready for these step-ups now. I've had some great nights already at the Sheffield Arena, and you know, there's gonna be many more to come. We're gonna be 100% ready. This is like life or death to me. It's my toughest test of my career. Though is a dangerous man, trust me. Uh, Dalton, big clap on front of your face as well, please, mate. Dalton, how does it feel when you have moments like this? Sit and appreciate how much you've been able to change your life through 15 professional fights. To be honest, it's like, it's like it's gone so fast. Like, I remember being a little boy and looking up to all the, you know, my idols and like, you always feel like you're never gonna get there. You feel like they're in a different world to you. And then with a the click of the fingers, like, I'm sat here now. I'm in front of the cameras, I'm achieving things. Sometimes you have to like, pinch yourself and rewind the clock to see how far you've come. He's had a tough life, he's had to go through two things, and the kid has stuck it out. It's much anticipated professional debut. Let's get on this journey. It could be a special one. Trust him, it's my debut's off now, and can't wait for the next. It looks tough, Mikel, because he really could get some wicked shots here. Oh, a left hook, so there is a right hand. He won't be an English champion for very long. He is moving up to bigger and bigger things than this. I think this young man's going to move on. British, European, world title honours. Dad Grant in the corner with him. Dalton Smith, you can see what the fuss is about. Oh! Right hand. This is the kind of night that we needed for Dalton Smith to break through and become a star. 12 rounds scheduled then for the British Super Lightweight title. Oh, lovely right hand. Oh! Oh! Right hand. Oh! oh Super right, right hand. The new British champion. This is why I'm a warrior. This is what I'm made for. Dalton Smith, different class in there tonight. Oh, good left hook. Oh, good enough, man. Maxwell fight next. That's what I want. Another big fight night here in Sheffield. This is good work from Dalton Smith. Oh. Two foot, one over each other. Oh, oh, oh tremendous. And the new unified British and Commonwealth super lightweight champion. It's just crazy how, t how fast time goes. And I always remember, like, my granddad would say, like, in a click of the fingers, like, you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in this position. And it's, you know, it's happened. Like, I, the position I'm in now, like, everything before, it just seems like it's gone so fast. Obviously, you grow up, you mature, you kind of getting to know what life is. Like, when you're a kid, everything's just like 100 miles an hour. But as you get older, you start thinking, oh, my future, right, I need to dedicate my life. Everything I do now, every day, every week, every day counts to get to where I want to be. Camp life, training hard, eat, sleep, train, repeat, innit? We're in here every single day. Me, my dad, the gym, you know, we're creating the zone history now and you know, building that, that little legacy of what we're doing. So, you know, slowly but surely. So we started from the bottom and building it up. It's just muscle memory. Yeah. In this gym, everyone sticks together. It's not like I've been to other gyms and people, they just forget about you. But in this gym, they're all at your fights. They're all helping you. They're all looking out for you. So it's, it's like a family. You know, we've come a long way from the still city that I walked into. Bit by bit, you know, people that, from my storyline, from Dalton's storyline, people just collectively sort of gathering and trusting in what we're doing here. And it really is, you know, the whole effort. Still City comes as a family, we come as a team. It makes it such a, a pure place to learn boxing. You leave your ego at the door and you come in here prepared for war. Fun, Jay, he's getting five minutes of fear. My match will get on the comps. <laughs> I'll be real, Dalton has been like family to me for a long, long time, so. There's probably a lot of people that would feel something went wrong if Dalton's not a world champion at some point in his career, his professional career. He's that good of a fighter and, and always has been that good of a fighter. I think, especially the next 18 months, 
and put some good great performances in here. I'm going to show people who Dalton Smith is at the £140 division. I could go an easier route to try and get to the top, but I don't. I take these fights because this is what entertains me. These are the fights what people want. So yeah, there's some big fights to be made. Next fight, Jose Zapida. He's experienced, been at the world level for a long time. I'm just shadow boxing it, but I wanted to like, take it real nice and slow. So, almost like, yeah. People are supporting me for a reason. You know, so I want to challenge, I, I want to push myself and put a great fight on for my supporters. So, you know, Jose Zapida is that perfect fight for me. Yeah, that's my yeah, I was there in December. Isn't it? You dropped him, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's off to the body. <laughs> No balls. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to deal with him. Don't want to deal with him. Don't, a dangerous man, trust me. This is the perfect fight for me now. It's my toughest test of my career. I train 100%, work on what I need to. You know, come fight night, it'll all come together. 2024 for me, it's going to be a breakout year for me. Pushing onto the world scene. Dalton Smith talking about moving on to bigger prizes. Pushing my name beyond domestic level, letting the world know who Dalton Smith is. Sheffield's got a new star in Dalton Smith that can go on and compete at world championship level. Especially how I'm progressing, I just feel this is going to be the year for me. There's so much promise here. I want all the belts, Eddie. You know, being Jose as a Peter is going to put me up on that next pedestal. This is going to be a hell of a fight. One thing we know, we have to win big. I have to win this fight. Jose! Jose! He describes himself as a nightmare matchup. Stubborn, hard punching fighter in Zapata. I'm still here because I want, a, I want the new opportunity. I want my fourth chance. I'm already 34 years old. That's why we're taking hard fights. I want a hard fight, and I am, I am planning my, my way back with this fight, Dalton. At 25, 26, 27, I was young. I, I would like to do some other things, and, and then I would learn in the ring that I wasn't ready. So now I'm 34, I'm training my hardest. And it's for a good reason, because I know it's a, it's a hard sport, and I've already been through so many years that I know what it takes. It was a tough loss against Hitchinson because I, I wanted to get back into the top 10. Richardson Hitchens. But I mean, he's, he is a talented fighter. I do believe he's gonna be champion. I could have taken easy fight, uh, but that's not gonna get me anywhere. So I, I want a hard fight so I can get back right away in the top 10 contenders in, in the 140 division. I know I have to train hard. I know what I have to do. I go by my motivation. I just know I gotta train really hard uh, because at the end of the day, you're risking your life in there. I am ready, I'm, and mentally I know what I'm supposed to do and I know how hard I'm supposed to work. And I've been working really hard. It's actually not the first fight in the UK, it's, uh, it's gonna be my second one. I did have a really bad experience on my first one. It was uh, my world title shot and I dislocated my shoulder in the second round. So we're past that. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to go over there. I'm happy to perform. I know, I know the fans in the UK, they're, they're hardcore. So, so I'm happy to go over there and, and, and just perform. I already know it's gonna be a, a, a hell of a fight. They're gonna love the style. And, and the winners here in this fight, I think it's gonna be the people. He's gonna have a, a hard fight in front of him. Uh, this is the first time he's stepping up in, in levels. 
So he's gonna find out that it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to get in there, you know? Morning, mate. Time to call this. So we're here today filming for my next promo fight against Jose Zapida. Current time is 7 a.m. We're out here in the early morning sunrise of Sheffield. Standing up in the bar, and then I'll actually just gonna leave frame, jog off that way. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, action. Yeah, Park Hill. If you look down there, you know, that's the way we used to be like. It's a big part of Sheffield, Park Hill. Action. Just running some stairs. Let's go. Action, Dalton. Beautiful Sheffield for you. Ten minutes. I did seven the other day. I want you to slow your breathing down and get it right. It's good. You know, I live a simple life. Boxing's, you know, my number one priority, and I put everything into that. So, the bigger the challenge, the more it brings out of me. Hey. Hey! This is Canelo. The one and only Canelo. Who's the boss? What do you think? <laughs> Ice bath, coffee, breakfast, gin. Try and stick to that each day. Yeah. It's all about routine, innit? Train, train, train. By the time you know it's how it's fight week. I just try and do it day by day. As long as I've done that one day, everything I need to do, then by the time fight day comes, I've done everything. Retire rich, fat, happy, and loads of, loads of belts. I need a European and a world title, and I've got them all. Beat Azeem, take the European. I just need to win a world title, then I've got a full collection. Huh? Jordan Smith against Adam Azeem. Very confident the fight will happen. Adam Azeem with the European title. I love that fight. I absolutely love that fight. It's a 50-50 split. Paying the same as Adam Azeem, I'll pay Dalton Smith the rest. There's no excuse. I'm always going to get asked about that fight. We're both at the same level and the fans are wanting to fight. People say Adam's the best, Dalton's the better one. But there's one way to find out and that's for us to fight. Like that's in the future. Why am I going to stress over stress stuff like that? Like My career doesn't evolve around Adam Azeem. I've got one focus on my mind. That's March 23rd. For me, Zapida is a harder fight. If, if I don't win this fight, I, I'm most likely I'm probably gonna retire. So I'm training my hardest to not retire. I'm training, I'm training my hardest. I'm 34 years old and, and if I don't win this fight, I, that, doesn't, that means no big fights. I'm planning on only fighting big fights, so I have to win this fight. I saw his record, I know he's 15 and 0, and I, I know he's a big star in, in the UK. So I thought it was a good chance for me to get back to the top, to the top names. I know he's good, I know he's, he's seen like a star over there in the UK. He's energetic inside that ring. Um, he likes to move, he likes to, he's, he's kind of fast. I know he comes forward, so that's gonna make it a, it's gonna make it a great fight. I do believe it's gonna be a great fight. Richard Hitchinson, he was more like a, a move around, he don't like to get hit. I know Delton, he likes to come forward, so it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a great fight. If I win this fight, it's gonna open my opportunities with, with uh, Matchroom, and, and that's what I want. I want big opportunities. I'm, 
I'm, like I said, I'm 34 years old, so I'm only looking for big opportunities. If only, only big fights. Experience is what has me here in this point. I had three times I tried going for the world title and I won my fourth chance. The UK fans, they, they know boxing. And I know they're gonna love the fight. It's gonna be a war in there because I know Delta will bring it. And I'm, I'm happy to go over there and, and I'm planning to get some new fans over there. At the end of the day, they better cheer the guy up uh, good because it, he's gonna need it. That's all I know, man. We're getting ready to win big and, and, and we're getting ready to get that win. Boxing allows you to grow as a person, you know, inside the ring and outside of the ring. Get your gloves on. Got granddad to put them on. Put your hand in. Put your hand in that one. You've got to conduct yourself in the right manner. And sometimes we forget we've got people looking up to us. Show me footwork. Give me footwork. Go on. Footwork. It's just about being a good role model. Next Katie Taylor. <laughs> and maturing, maturing in yourself. Everything I'm doing, the f every fight I win, um, you know, the little more pressure you, you've got to grow as a man, as a person. You know, it gives me goosebumps. Like, you pay your hard earned money to come see a local lad from um, Sheffield. And my family, my dad, granddad, my little nephew here, everybody, they play a big part in my career. And I'm just glad I've you know, made my family proud. There's very few people believe in you. And when they do, they're, they're on the journey with me. As long as I train 100%, push myself, work on what I need to work on. You know, I'm confident I'll go in there and I will put on a good performance. You know, I'm confident in my ability. I believe what I can do, go on and achieve. Um, and the, these, are the, these are the right fights to, to get me there. Hard work, baby. Sheffield, England. I know that I'm supposed to go in there and win big. He's going to underestimate. He's going to think, oh, this young kid coming up, I've been bigger, better. But believe me, he'll have a shot when I'm in there. If he's not focused, he's going to lose the fight. I'm ready for these step ups now. I'm very confident of coming through and making a stamp who Dalton Smith is. We know a big fight when we see Such one. Such a huge test. He's a potential fight of the year. The chance here now for Dalton Smith to really show that he belongs at this level and beyond. I've spoken about his passion for the history and the prestige. The championship level, there's no easy fights. And this is where you could tell that he has not been up there. Zapita's experienced, he's proven himself at world level. I have the experience, I have everything that it takes. I don't want no easy fights. I want a hard fight. Yeah, I'm not a pro -grace. I'm not a hitching, so I'm Dalton Smith. Oh, oh what a shot! Yeah, baby, we done it! He's not faced what I can do. This is like life or death to me. We're gonna be 100% ready. Everything I've worked hard for is for these moments. These nights, me being in Sheffield, headlining my own city, got all my supporters coming out. Huge names and huge nights in this fighting city of Sheffield. And I was destined for that, it was meant to be, destined for greatness. And I'll be headlining Hillsborough Stadium one day.